This is uh, Jose Bosch with FCTucson.com, and we're here with media relations intern Katie Monkdale. And Katie, could you explain what happened with your phone? Um, I dropped it in some water. Uh, and what were you doing when you dropped it in I was some water? Doing, some doing the dishes with the phone <laughs> nearby, and one should never do that. So, what, Katie, did, could you show us the bag there? She put her phone in a bag of rice. Everyone knows that is the uh, way to fix a phone that's been dropped in water, at least we hope. And now she's going to try for the first time on video. <laughs> to see if it works. So, Kate, uh, go ahead. It's turning on. Uh-oh. That's positive. Is the tension getting to you? Yeah, it is. I want my phone to work. I think this is taking longer than normal. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna be a much, very sad video if it doesn't work. Oh! oh! We gotta make a phone call. Who are you gonna call? Who's the first person you're gonna call? I don't know. To no test if it works. <laughs> no one I know is awake. No matter, you're gonna have to call home. No. <laughs> Let's start searching. Well, look at it this also. way if it doesn't work when you call home, it's not like your parents will know that it's broken yet. That's true. They don't go on YouTube a lot, do they? No. Okay, that's a good thing. I could try it. Oh, you left me a voicemail. Let's see if the voicemail works. Does the voicemail work? It works. Oh, man. I, th I think I the think rice works. worked. Oh, and I'm getting text messages. It's Whoa. working. Whoa. Whoa. Well, there you have it. Rice, rice does works. work. Thank you. Wait, what kind of rice was that? Was that Uncle Ben's? Uh, brown rice. Brown rice. All right. Well, next time you anyone out there drops their phone in water... Brown rice is the way to go. This has been Jose Bosch. Having fun at right. FC Tucson.